Good day viewers. You are welcome to my channel. You are welcome to View My Solution Center. You are welcome to a room where nothing is impossible. Today is the day that the Lord has made for us to rejoice and be glad indeed. You are welcome once again. This is a channel that nothing is impossible unto God. The God is the God of all impossibility. God is a perfect God. That which he has started is more than able to complete his work in the name of Jesus Christ. I commit to all of you, all of you that subscribe to this channel. I am on my knees praying to God on a daily basis over your life. That God, with his infinite mercy, will give you a surprise package this year in the name of Jesus Christ. At this moment, I ask the Lord that God of miracle, God that started a new thing in your life, he will complete it in the name of Jesus Christ. He will, do, he will have no rest until he will make my people rich in the name of Jesus Christ. So before I go further, I want to pray only one prayer point here. Hold on. Hold on not your peace, O Lord, until you set it me. According to the book of Psalm 71. Hold not your peace, O Lord, until you set it my case. If you come across this prayer, pray this prayer point like a man or a woman from another world. You pray like this, O Lord, hold not your peace until you set it me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, hold not your peace until you set it me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, hold not your peace until you set it me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, hold not your peace until you set it me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Maka River Sintribu, YKKK Santa, Maka River Sintribu, Holy Holy Ghost. Do that which you have committed to do in my life, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you as I pray for myself. God is the God of 11th hour. Yes. God is the God of 11th, 11th hour. There is nothing that he cannot do. Oh God, give me divine dream that will change my stories. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, give me divine dream that will change my story. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, my Father, give me divine dream that will change my story. In the name of Jesus Christ, angel of revelation, visit me afresh by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, angels of revelation, visit me afresh. In the name of Jesus, angels, angels of revelation. Visit me afresh in the name of Jesus Christ. In my dream tonight, O oh Lord, appear to me in the name of Jesus Christ. In my dream tonight, O oh Lord, appear to me, appear to me, appear to me. Power polluting my, my dreams and vision. I bind you and I cast you out of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Power polluting my dreams. I bind you and I cast you out of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Power polluting my dream. I bind you and I cast you out of my dream in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. I want to talk about mass curating power. What you can use to wash up mass curating power. What do you mean by mass curating power? The power of destruction. Yes. The power of destruction. There are some power. If they come upon you, all what you labor for for many years will just finish within a second. Before this topic comes up like this, if there is an emergency in the home, yes. A friend of mine called me from Kogi State in Okini. He's a friend. 
He said, Mama in Israel, I have suffered. I have labored. I have 10 story building. And I have 10 buses with two private cars. <laughs> Lo and behold, one of our sons drove the private car out of the house. He had an accident. He died. The car collapsed beyond repair. Another one again went out. Two buses, her own box, one coming from Lagos, another one is coming from another place, and the hair collide. Masquerading power. Instantly, as she's talking to me, the Spirit of the Lord said to me, I should tell her to explain the dream she had before this calamity starts. And the calamity will not stop until all her wet got finished. Wow. God, I am sorry on her behalf. I start pleading for mercy of God on her behalf. Then Anna said to myself, what must I be her for her offense, God? Then I said, okay, let me just call her and see if the revolution is real. Then I call her. I said, Mr. Man, my youth friend, who have been a friend before you married two wives. <laughs> but your wife thought I'm your girlfriend, isn't it? He said, Madam, this is not what we are talking about. Do you hear what happened to me? My boss, two of my boss, her head collided. And I saw it on the news. He said, what can I do? My work is going to finish in my presence. I said, what, please, can you explain your dream to me? He says that he dreamt and masquerade was pursuing him. And the masquerade flogged hell out of him. As the masquerade is flogging him, the cloth on his body got torn. And everything just went off and he remained naked. I opened my heart in surprise. I said, God, I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. If God is talking to you, was not angry. That is why I say to God, I am sorry. Because I'm arguing. <laughs> the person that make money up to this kind of level, you mean he's going to be naked? Yes. God said yes. His money is going to finish. The interpretation of the dream is that the money he has is going to finish. And he's going to remain wretched. Start begging for what you will feed. I see go on my knees again. I say, God, I am sorry. Help him. And God says to me, give him seven days. Seven sponge. And seven, seven soap. To use in bathing. For his glory to restore. Because the, de the, the, the devil who masqueraded, who, who turned to masquerade, he used seven different, different cane to flog him. Number one, cane of affliction. Cane of poverty. Cane of abject poverty. I mean, poverty has level. He has class. But this time around, it's cane of abject poverty. How? Yes. He said again. He said he has to go through deliverance for seven days. I said, God, will I go there? Will I go there? He said, No. That he will send him an angel. And I told my friend, I said, my dear, you are going through ritual baths for seven days. He said, anything I can do 
that my wealth will not finish in my breast. As I'm talking to you, that one of his house collapsed. I say, go die when he's again. I say, God, I am sorry, Lord. Make hay to deliver him. According to Psalm 71, reading from verse 1 to the end, you will see, we say, he says, make hay to deliver me, God. I say, make hay to deliver him. Don't let his property finish before you come to his aid. And God says, I should give him seven sponge. This is seven sponge for seven days. Yes. And seven soup, different soup. Anyone he used to beat, he has to do what? Discard it. Anyone he used to beat, he will discard it. After he used this sponge to beat, every other thing will restore back. That is a sponge to wash away poverty and affliction from our life. We need to death with poverty. Poverty will cause you rejection. Poverty will cause you sorrow. Poverty can, at the end, cause you death. I pray for you as I pray for myself. Anything that will cause you sorrow, oh Lord, my Father, you are the God that owns everything. I got it to Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. You say there's nothing that doesn't belong to you. You own the whole world and whatever is inside. God, Help him. Give him all he needs in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray with him, Lord and behold, he stop at that for calamity that he has. Then from there, God start blessing him. And his blessing has been restored. Glory be to God. So this is what I gave to him. The sponge to take away sorrow and affliction from our life. God bless you. Please subscribe to my channel. I love you. Jesus love you more than I do. Mm -hmm.